Hello, I'm delighted that uh, my book about my life with Osho is being published in the Italian language by uh, Spazio Interiore. I uh, hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, and I'd just like to thank uh, Giovanni and Elisa Picosa who um, have been enthusiastic about the book and have um, felt motivated to publish it in, in, in Italian. Um, it's a complete uh, account of my life with Osho uh, between 1976 and uh, when Osho died in 1990. So it covers the most of um, the ashram in Puna One, what is so called Puna One, uh, 76 to 81, and the whole of the Oregon Ranch, and then. Uh, the world tour and coming back to Pune in 1987 for the last three years of Osho's life. And uh, I really, um, I guess I, was, <laughs> I used to say, um, I've uh, only, I've done, at least I've done two things right in my life. One was to meet Osho and become a sannyasin. And the other is to write a book about what happened. And because I used to be a journalist and I noticed that there were really two kinds of books and both were in a way unsatisfactory um, about Osho. Uh, there's the books written by disciples and devotees, um, <clears throat> which, which are very positive, of course, but also you get the feeling um, that they can be dismissed by the mainstream because the mainstream just simply thinks oh yes well she was in love with Osho so that's why she's so positive about him and then of course there are the other kind of books which are critical of Osho and there's lots of those of course <laughs> um, and uh, and I wanted to write a book which was very um, very, uh, ooh, what's the word, hard, hard, hard headed, um, journalistic, um, factual, all the details, the, the bad stuff, as well as the good stuff. I wanted to write the whole story. Um, and I didn't think there was a book that did that. Um, and I'm very happy with my book because, uh, because it does do that. It takes, it's, 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 um, it's a chronological, detailed account of the whole story, what happened, all the events, the what you might call the external events, and and also my process, what I went through, and the whole um, you know it's like uh, it take the book takes you beyond the the dilemma of right and wrong, good and bad. It takes you into that space which we all found with Osho, which is simply beyond duality. And that's very difficult for people uh, who, who, who haven't met Osho to understand. And I hope I make a good job of, um, of sharing that. And uh, I know that the Italian public is very well educated about Osho. They've read a lot of his Osho books, you know, of his books. Um, I think probably more of Osho's books have been translated and published in Italy than in any other country in the world. Um, so I'm very happy that my book's being published. It's called Wild Wild Guru. Um, I know some people think we shouldn't call Osho a guru, but um, he did say once, and I've got the video clip where he says it, he says, I am the rich man's guru, which I think is a good testimony for him. And he also says, um, I am a spiritual playboy, <laughs> which I thought was rather cute. And of course, he said a good deal of other things about himself. But anyway, um, that's the book and it's coming out uh, very soon. Um, and uh, I wish the Italian public uh, good, uh, happy reading.